Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's Chris and Gio back again with you guys for another exciting episode. So y'all are here because y'all want to know what's the shocking truth and simple truth behind saving and personal wealth building. All right, we're going to get right down to it. So what is it? Pretty much saving, right? Saving. We know that saving is key. Now, how many people are actually saving their money every month? We know there's not many people, right? About 80% of people right now, if they were to get hit with a major life, life change, like a marriage, a death, or a hospitalization, they would go bankrupt. That's no good. It means we're not saving, right? And you, and then why are we not saving? A lot of people, one of the main excuses is that we don't have the money to. No excuse. You start saving right now. Every time you get a paycheck, who's the first person that gets that you pay? yourself. You get paid first. I love Warren Buffett's quote. He says, you don't save what's left after spending. You spend what's left after saving. In other words, you pay yourself first. You are most important, all right? Because it's all about saving and starting early and often. That's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. It's not saving early and often. That's the key thing because we know about compound interest is such so magic, right? And so I'm actually reading a book right now by, by my boy here, Mr. Remy, on how to, I'll make you, I'm going to make you rich. And it's really good, personal finance book. And he's talking about the two classes that most people fall into. You got people who know they need to save, <laughs> but they don't do anything about it and they feel guilty about it. And then you got people who are like overwhelmed and just consumed by the, all the major details in the market, like what the global market is doing, what the risk are, what the interest rates, what the Fed guys are doing, are going to increase interest rates today, today or not, who, whatever, right? The main, main thing behind both of them is neither of those cats are doing anything. None of them are doing anything. The first one, not taking action because he feels overwhelmed with all the options and things that are out there. And I mean, that's the case. Same thing if you're going to go go to the gym, right? You want to go to the gym, you know you should, but you don't because then you, then you feel guilty, right? And um, then you got the guy that's like, who wants to go to the gym, but he's thinking about all the things he has to do, what he's going to wear, what he's going to look like, what the machines are doing. Too many, too much stuff, right? And I know today it's kind of tough because it's got all kinds of funds out there, all kinds of knickknack stuff that, about finance that makes it seem complicated. And then you get into this analysis paralysis, right? Kind of how I felt when me and my wife, we went to go buy a townhouse and they had all those design options when they build your house. I mean, there's so many options. Who needs 10 different types of doorknobs? Who needs that, right? I was, I was paralyzed, couldn't make a decision, right? And so that's the same thing a lot of people are into right now. But the key, the shocking truth about it is it's not that complicated. You really, all you need to do is just get started. Just start saving. Put $50, $100. Who cares? It doesn't matter how many. Just start putting it away. That's all that matters. And it's not, and then it becomes more simplified after that. So, I hope you guys got value from it. Hope that was useful. If you did, find me on my website, chrisandgia.com. Put your name and email address in. I'll be sure to send you my free bonus report on seven easy breezy ways that will force you to save more money every month, even if you don't like to. All right. So, guys, hope you liked it. Be blessed. Stay hungry.